Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Broadcasting Your Community with Dave and Stephen. But as yet, there's no David. I can see he's actually in the studio, but his camera is not switched on, so he's busy doing something. As soon as he does arrive, then I'll, of course, bring him up on screen. Now, that was one of my favourite countdown clocks that I've made. There are over 50 of them, and uh, they're available for free on YouTube. Just search for Showcaster Countdown Clocks and you can use them to start your broadcast. And quite a few people do, which is good. So if you're watching live, thank you. If you're watching on Facebook, say hello. If you're watching on YouTube, say hello. We are simulcasting. We're in week two of the Facebook changes, which means that we cannot promote these shows in advance. We just turn it live when you don't expect us. Uh, I can see this continuing for a week or two while Facebook actually get their act together and say hello to Carl. Carl, good to see you. And uh, I've been told this week to actually show what a producer can do for you. So let's take the logo off, because uh, that's one of the first things that can be done. Your show can be branded. Um, and that's the, the first step in turning it from any show into your show is to get the branding right and uh this is a be live show so i started with the be live branding but i've now switched it off so that we can have the whole canvas the picture behind me is a beautiful scene and what's missing is the lake along the bottom because this is oberstdorf and uh it's in germany it's in the alps and we were there last week, and Gallica and I, but not physically. You can't go anywhere physically at the moment. We were actually broadcasting Ask Angelica, and the whole show was given over to Orbersdorf, which, of course, is a ski jumping center. And there you have it behind me now. You've got, it just looks a glorious place to actually go skiing. And uh, I'd love to go there one day. Can't ski, but I'd love to go there. Uh, right, okay, Debbie's disappeared entirely, so he's leaving me to the show, the show to me. Um, okay, if you've got any questions, then please do ask them. Um, I did the Q&A uh, last Tuesday in the Belivers group. Went well, I'm doing it again tomorrow. I'm live in the Belivers group at 12 p.m. Eastern talking about Belive. And talking about Belive, I can see... A spark down below me, a sparker come appears, and uh, hopefully David will be here momentarily. Now, I oh, took a talk about the man, and hopefully he'll be joining me in the broadcast in three, two, one. Hello, David. Hello. You got you you silent or? I don't know. I'm here. Hang on, just let me set something. Test. Okay, just a second. Can you say something again, please? Say something again, please. I've got no sound. One, two, buckle my shoe. Oh. Three, four, shut the door. Okay, the show's yours for a minute. I'm just going to refresh. Hello, hello. Oh, to you. I'm going to hide. <laughs> Well, I don't know what I can say if nobody can hear me. <laughs> Hello, you're back. I'm back and I can hear you. Um, oh. Th this, this has happened twice now. Uh, and this time I found it very quickly. Uh, basically, something's changing in my sound settings, and instead of it playing through speakers, it's going through the headphones. And of course, I'm oh. not wearing any headphones, so that's why I can't hear. Right, okay. And uh, Mr. Upton said he could hear you, so there you are. Yeah, um, we're here now. Yeah. And um, I was here the whole time, too, before in the beginning when you started. I was sitting here. But all I saw was a black screen. Yeah, all I saw was a black screen. Yeah, your your screen was black before we started. 
Before yeah. So what, when you went live, people were seeing you, but I was here, but all I saw was a black screen. I didn't see you. All oh, right. Okay. I had, can you, I can you see the, me now? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. That's good. Okay. And over to Kelly. And Kelly is saying, wasn't Eddie the Eagle from the UK? Did you meet him at all on your trip? Well, it, this, as I said, this is Oberstdorf behind me. Uh, Eddie the Eagle is alive and well. He's not skiing these days uh, since he took part in the Olympics. Uh, and if you've ever had a chance to watch the film, it's quite a good film that they actually made about him and his story because he was, he just wanted to ski, but not did he only want to ski, he wanted to ski at the Olympics. And he did eventually, but his journey from not being able to ski at all to be able to uh, ski at Olympics is quite an inspiring one, I have to say. Although I wouldn't jump from 90 meters in the air, would you? Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't uh, know. Drone flying? Uh, sure, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tractor racing? Cool. It's the next step. Tractor? No. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Okay, and this is for you. He's, he's, he's dumbstruck, Jennifer. Um, right. So, oh, sorry, I was multitasking. Hi, honey. <laughs> we we had a, a late. Uh, uh, I got things popping up on my screen here. Sorry. Um, we just finished lunch, so. Um, I was trying to get organized and my studio was a mess and everything. And I, cause I've been reorganizing all my equipment and stuff. And then, so I was last minute getting here trying to get things done. So. Okay. But all good. I'm good. All right. So, so what's, what's on the agenda? Do we have one? Do we have an agenda today? You want, you wanted this all professional today, didn't you? You said that you wanted it all professional. So, a formal welcome to the show using the agenda. Okay, <laughs> so that's, that's the agenda. We've also had, uh, if I go over here, we've had a logo. Okay, so we've got a logo, we've got the agenda, um, all sorts of things are available to us. And a friend of yours, I think. Ashley? Ashley. Going by Ashley. Okay. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm, ass I, I, I'm assuming it's, it's somebody from Sonia. No? Yes. No, I'm saying, I, I think her real name is Ashley, but her so it says Ashley. Right. Okay. And we've been showing comments on screen, okay? Uh, we've showed a video at the beginning. Yeah, so you can have an intro video, you can have a logo, you can have comments on screen, and you can show comments from people who are watching, like Kelly. Kind of like the Jamaican bobsled team, they had no snow. Who would have thought both were the Olympians? True. I mean, I watched that film as well, uh, because that, that was, again, and it's a film of aspirations being fulfilled. and. Jamaica actually taking part in the bobsled, uh, just miraculous, really, because they don't know what snow is. Right. Um, and of course, Wasn't a, great, a movie made about that. Yeah, a great Canadian actor, stroke comedian, was in it as well, whose name will come to me in a minute when Kelly reminds um, me. It was John Candy, wasn't it? It was. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, and Kelly said they're both good films to watch. And uh, Asley is saying it's her legal name. Oh, okay. There you go. Right. Okay. So we've got that sorted out. All good. <laughs> uh, right. I don't what's know. The what's, other, what's the other? Um, Kelly said both good films to watch. Oh, right. The, the, one, the one about Eddie the Eagle. Oh. The okay. Brit. And also i've never heard of eddie the eagle what never, sorry just, just a minute just a minute <laughs> uh, if you type eddie, well you can do it actually but 
I'm just going to go off and type the eagle. Eddie the eagle. Two gets there first. I'm here. Okay. okay. So I've done a bit of a search, and Debbie's done a bit of a search, and I can share my tab. Michael share. And go over to the Chrome tab. And go for Eddie the Eagle. See, he's even got his own Wikipedia page as the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And we can put that full screen. And whilst it's full screen, we can read to you. <laughs> Michael Edwards, Eddie the Eagle, was born in 1963. He's an English ski jumper and Olympian who in 1988 became the first competitor since 1928 to represent Great Britain in Olympic ski jumping finishing last in the 70 and 90 meter events. Okay, but he did hold the uh, British ski jumping record from 1988 to 2001. So he could, he could actually uh, ski jump, but um, yes, but it's, it's just a brilliant story. Hmm. And you been, said there's a movie, right? It was, there's a movie, yep. Yeah, there is there is indeed a movie about him, and John is saying that his correct name is not Eddie the Eagle, but Michael Edwards. But he became known as Eddie the Eagle. And if I just Googled Eddie the Eagle, and he actually showed up. Okay. Yeah, that's what I Googled. All right. So he got to the Olympics uh, on well, on merit. It is a, a, a feel good film uh, to watch on a winter's day or even a summer's day. Um, and I'm going to hide that. Okay. So there we have it. And Real. if you try, if you search, if you want to do your, but if you search for Jamaican bobsleigh, you'll find them. Yeah, I know about that. I know about that. Right. Okay. But interesting. Triumphing against the odds is what it's all about. And. I've got a message that you messaged me, but I can't see it because I'm. Well, well, that was, uh, yeah, I was just saying before that I have a black screen. I couldn't see you. Okay. Even though everybody else could see you, I couldn't see you. Right. And over to Kelly. And, oh, Kelly's come up with a, a YouTube link. Excellent. Thank you. I should go and take a look after the broadcast. And, and what's that link of, Kelly? What's that for? Is that for Eddie the Eagle or? The bobsled, I'm wondering. I don't, well, yeah, okay. I, I mean, the thing is, on Facebook, we'll actually show what it is. We just can't see the title because we can only just see the comment. Right. Without the graphics. Okay. One thing you should avoid at all costs on a live broadcast is silence. And that's when neither of you speaks, waiting for the other to speak. And oh, I'm sorry, speaking. you're the lead, so I I try to hold back sometimes. <laughs> it's a short film. Oh, okay. Right, okay. That's all we're saying. It's a short film. Thank you for all that. All right. Day. Well, there's there's we've always got something we can fill time with. Are you ready for the dad jokes? Let's take a vote. I think I, I think I just came second. Over to you. <laughs> Why can't your nose be twelve inches long? I don't know, David. Why can't your nose be twelve inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Oh. Can we groan at that one? I think we can. Steve is not happy. <laughs> I think that's definitely a groan. How did the musician catch his fish? I don't know. He cast a net. It's a second groan. Well, wait. Okay. I, yeah, there's silence there. I hear crickets every time I tell a joke. <laughs> uh, what's this one? I told my doctor that I broke my arm in two places. She told me to stop going to those places. Well, that's probably a good idea, really. I agree with you. <laughs> that's a good one. 
What does a rock do all day? Nothing. It's a rock. That's right. Bing, 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 bing. You got one right. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you know yesterday was National Middle Child Day? I did Don't not worry. Think. No one else remembered either. Um, uh, Marsha, Marsha, oh. Marsha. When tempted to fight fire with fire, remember that fire department usually uses water. Speechless. I am just speechless. <laughs> and then today, for Monday, September the 21st, which is also World Alzheimer Day, if you have 13 apples in one hand and 10 oranges in the other hand, what do you have? 23 fruits. Big hands. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> That's it for the dad jokes. Do I need to put my mask on? We survived another week. Just he's advertising again because <laughs> he's got the logo on the mask. They are, are they available? Can people buy them or are they just? Um, not yet. I have yet. them because I've, I've got a couple for me, a couple for Jason, and um, I did give one away to one of my followers. And I'll, right. I'll probably give a few more. I only got 11 of them, so at this point. But so I, I feel like I'll probably get some more. They're in short supply. Yeah. But I got a feeling that I will, uh, yes, they'll be available online soon. I can tell you that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, what has, has anything changed recently uh, as far as limitations or restrictions? Uh in public places or anything where in your location uh, at the moment we've got the rule of six and john will explain it for us right i'm just waiting for him to type in uh <laughs> you can only have six people uh in a group and okay um we have been told advised uh parliament has said health have, have said uh, that if you do see more than six people in your neighbor's garden, you should report it. Mm -hmm. Which is a good way to make friends and influence people, really. Um, if you start dobbing on your neighbors to the police, then you're not really going to have good relationships, are you? I mean, it's just... So our prime minister, in one of his lucid moments, said, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. So, And we've now got the introduction of fines. Um, if you are, if you do disobey what is a law, then the first time you will find a hundred pounds, second time 200, up to a maximum of 3,200. There have been people who've been organizing raves uh, in secret locations, although so not too secret because the police found them, and they've been found 10,000 pounds or 15,000 Canadian. So a lot of fining going on, and today yeah. we, we were told that we are on an, an upward curve and heading for a second wave. And on a serious note, that we do t need to wear masks, social distance, and observe all the recommendations. Otherwise, we will get to 50,000 a day by uh, end of October, and 200 people a day will unfortunately be dying. So we're hoping that our Prime Minister tomorrow actually comes up with a plan which people back we're not going to get back to uh, the stay home where 97 percent actually paid heed to it um you've now got two camps you've got protests in london you've got protests in cities you've got protests in europe uh, by people who are who just don't believe it exists yeah well um we're back to um there's a lot of confusion again right because yeah. um our government rolled back some things and everybody's like, oh, we're back in stage two. No, we are not back in stage two. We are still in stage three with new restrictions. That's what it is. Um, and this restrictions changes were we used to be 100 people outside and 50 people inside. And now they've rolled it back to 25 people outside and 10 people inside. Yeah. And that's for private parties. Bars, restaurants, banquet halls, churches have not been affected by this. They call it monitored and unmonitored situations. So like in a restaurant, for example, that's a monitored situation, meaning there's staff there that would see you without a mask and would say, please put your mask on. 
that type of thing. Um, so um, it has affected some things uh, like um, outdoor weddings. Some people, somebody in my family I know is getting married soon in a few weeks and they were having it in their backyard. Mm -hmm. And so they were allowed to have a hundred people outside. Right. Now they're only allowed 25 people outside. Yeah. So that can... really affects things, right? And yeah. try to get a banquet hall now. Yeah. <laughs> like... it, it, it's getting complicated. And something complicated, yeah. people just they just don't don't do it. Well, and the other thing is, Stephen, you know, like some people say, well, you know, like just go ahead and do it anyway. Well, yeah. Well, no. You know, because then like nobody will know. And that might be true, but that's why we're back where we're at now. That's right. Exactly. Because exactly. because exactly. a whole bunch of people said, oh, well, shh, well just, shh, just don't, yeah. you know. And yeah. a whole bunch of people doing that, and then it's caused some problems. Yeah. I mean, it, it, Social distance, and wear your mask. Yeah. It's that simple. That's it. That's all you need to do. And basically, it is common sense. And that's over to, let's just backstep for a minute. Eddie the Eagle is quite right. That's the video. And Mr. John Upton is saying, this is a long one. Do you want to read this one, David? David. Rules are tougher where I live. Family units cannot mix indoors or in the garden. We can, however, go down the pub or the park to meet so long as there are no more than six people in a group. Yeah. Right. So that's it. That's the rule of six, which is strange. The other, just... the other thing is enforcement, right? I mean, where you're at, seems like they're enforcing things. Yeah. Other you know, penalties. Uh, there are penalties. Yeah, like here, there there was it, a couple of fines, but it was just people really not cooperating uh, when approached by the the officers, and uh, were given ample opportunity to break things up and leave. And somebody gets lippy, and then they go, "Well, all right, here you go." <laughs> right. Um, whereas now, the our province is put in. I believe I'd have to double check, but I think it's uh, uh, the host can get a ten thousand dollar fine, mm -hmm. and individuals who are at the gathering can be fined seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, and it's, so, it's well, it's not worth it on two counts. One because of the risk of actually catching something, whether it's COVID nineteen or influenza or flu or anything like that. Um, that's the first risk, and the second risk is actually getting fined. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's basically the wanting to set an example. Yeah, um, but the, we've been told today there was a, a forty-minute broadcast by two of our top health officials, and they said, unless we get our act together, unless we use common sense, then we will have fifty thousand uh, new cases a day, and we're on a, a, an ever-increasing curve and they're comparing that to what's happening in France and Spain. So they know what's going to happen because you can see it happening in France and Spain. And they said, well, you know, just common sense, because if we don't do something about this, it's going to, it's just going to run riot. Yeah. I mean, when, when this all began back in February, March, uh, one of the theories was herd immunity. And uh, see if everybody caught it, then there'd be no problems. Yeah. And they, they followed that tack for the first two weeks until they realized it was akin to actually culling certain parts of the population. Um, and then they started on stay home and stay home worked. But as they changed the slogans for watered down slogans, people just, well, obviously, uh, we know the people who have common sense and everybody watching here has common sense uh but there are people who don't and it's a mindset it's a mindset problem and it's not yeah it's not just that the people who are actually um being infected by covid are from 12 to 92 yeah it's not picking a particular age group you can't say i'm under 30 i'm safe yeah right you can't say I'm over 70, I've got to isolate, because it's from 12 to 92. And um, it's going to be interesting. Our prime minister is actually going to tell us his plans tomorrow, so we'll wait and see and not prejudge. Yeah. 
Well, our Premier of Ontario said talking today at one o'clock, and uh, um, I just read a bit of the media release, and some medical advisors will be involved. So I imagine we're going to be getting a follow up because they actually, uh, and I I wasn't able to do it, but um, they went live on Saturday to make the announcement for us. Yeah. So when the Premier's going live on a Saturday or Sunday, something's up. Um, That's true. That's so true. I imagine we'll get more of a follow-up today uh, at 1 o'clock. Yeah. So I'll be curious to see what that we're, is. We're all on the same path because we we have the same way of life and the same benefits. And it's just frustrating, I think, is, is the, the key word here because we can do everything inside our own control and stay safe ourselves, uh, but we can't stop and we can't tell the people what to do. Um, when it's, well, it's, it, there's too many people. Unfortunately, there's 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 a lot cooperating, but unfortunately, there's too many people not cooperating. Yeah, and too many people are just going. Oh, I don't have to wear my mask. Oh, I'm with you. We've been we've been friends for thirty years. I don't have to wear my mask around you. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, you've got to live inside a bubble which you know is, is safe. And that's hopefully your family. Um, but you, you've got to make a decision. As, as you said, I mean, it was weeks before you could actually hug your children. Right. Yeah. It was It was almost two months. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there are sacrifices to be made, but it's for everybody's benefit. I mean, we've got, I know you can't hear it at the moment, but uh, the scaffolders are actually building scaffolding around our house. Oh. Um, and because of the crisp microphone, you can't hear it. So the banging, banging and clanking in the in the background just isn't there, uh, which is a, a solid test of any noise cancellation system. Um, and I'm just glad that I've got crisp because if I didn't have crisp, you'd be hearing the banging and clattering. We won't be able to go live. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what happened was this, that uh, we had torrential rain two months ago. And the torrential rain actually came through to the first floor bathroom from the second floor. And it sort of self-diagnosed a leak, uh, which wasn't going to get any better. So we had somebody, uh, I'm going to have somebody come and inspect the roof. And they said, right, OK, you've got a choice. We can repair the bit that's causing the problem or... Because that problem's there, there could be other ones along the way. We can put scaffolding all around the house, remove all your roof tiles, and put them back, and you have a brand new roof. Right? So we're in the brand new roof situation. And for the next five days, we're going to have workmen clang, clanking around, uh, actually putting roof tiles on. And I've got to say, these uh, the scaffolding, the planking is about 25 foot in the air. Now, oh. we're talking about skiing earlier you wouldn't get me on one of the planks up there either <laughs> no way no way there's one set of ladders at the front and then they're up 25 foot and they can walk around the house and clamber onto the roof and clamber back down rather them than me rather them than me i don't think putting a new roof on is a do-it-yourself job uh, sure. not for me anyway <laughs> pretty pretty sure it's not pretty sure because uh, I, I, one, don't have a head for heights, and two, uh, given enough time, I can do anything, but <laughs> we don't always have enough time. Right, okay. Who's on the show tonight, David? Um, I've got uh, actually somebody from the Federal Bridge Corporation joining me today um, to talk about the current state of our bridge and the border crossing and what they're still doing, so that'll be interesting. And then I've got uh, Will Graham, who's a tattoo artist um, of several tattoo shops in, in our area. And um, he's got a special artist street event that uh, involving chalk that's going to be uh, on September the 26th. So I have my two guests there today. So looking forward to that. It's good. It's, I mean, interviewing guests is, is as my, our friend Marco would say, is an opportunity to actually learn things. And we, we're fortunate. Oh, yeah be able to invite guests that we enjoy listening to and and discovering things that we didn't know about um so yeah 
yeah interviewing is good so that's something else you can do on produce show um you can actually interview <laughs> that's all right david i'm gonna i'm gonna push this because you said oh i right we basically uh if you want to be live and you don't want to you just want to appear on camera and forget all the nuts and bolts behind then you need a show producer and you can do that and you can just go live on camera and talk to your guest and this is a shout out for uh, Joe Shepard, who at the moment is actually putting together the framework for the live production blueprint. And uh, we're looking forward to actually seeing it, David and I, as we've played a part in actually laying the foundations for it. And you should see that before the end of the year, I have to say. Before the end of the year. Okay, good. I thought um, you were going to say the end of the month, and I was like, whoa. No, well, no, Joe, Joe's in charge. I'm not about to put any uh, constraints on it or actually push him because he's the man who gets things done. He doesn't need anybody behind him to suggest anything. So um, it will happen. It will come to pass. I mean, the first thing is that he will produce the draft. We all get to see it. We all get to talk about it and put our amendments to it, and then it will go back and be rejigged then be brought to us again until we get to a stage where everybody's happy with it. Right. Then it'll be published. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, what are you doing with uh, uh, let's let's talk about broadcasting. Let's well, let's talk about YouTube. I've uh -huh. been making some changes on my end on how I do things and where I do things. Mm -hmm. And um, where where are you at with your YouTube channel? I know you had well, they, started doing some things there, but yeah, I I have. I'm I'm now over 500 subscribers and heading gradually towards a thousand um i mean yeah. i'm not overly worried about the numbers but it'd be nice just to get a thousand i think that's a, that's a good good number um yeah. i've got all the shows that i do every week are actually on there and one of the most amazing things is that i now do a podcast every saturday night and i do the podcast and it goes out as a podcast on podbean and i celebrated 100 downloads this weekend not over the weekend but in total, total. Yeah, um, right. so it's becoming it's becoming established and there are just two shows on there loving for britain and then i do a 30 minute live session on a saturday night i get an agenda together four or five topics and just talk about those um and that goes on to youtube and i'm getting more views of the video of my podcast than i'm gaining downloads from podbean which right. is good i mean i'm not going to knock it but it's, well, YouTube's it's, got a bigger audience. Well, that's that's where people are, and that that's basically where the audience is. Now, um, just well, over to you about YouTube, and then I'll come back. Well, I've I've been uh, well, I, I've been changing things in general. You know, like the show with David Burroughs is coming up into nine years in November, um, and I still do that weekly show. You know. Um, but I, I, I want. I need to do more. And and when I say more, um, well, for example, I my drone videos. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I fly around in my city. I make a nice drone video that's three to four minutes. I put it up, and then, uh, uploading it to YouTube, and not uploading it to Facebook. Right. Okay. Not uploading it to Facebook, but sharing the YouTube link. Now, right. as you and I know. Um, when you upload a video to Facebook rather than share a link of a YouTube video, you get a further reach. Mm. That's true. But I've been promoting more of my YouTube channel. I've been, and, and in those videos, I, I, uh, I was just making the video and putting the video up. Now it's, I, I take a short little video of me, maybe in my van or wherever I'm at. And I go, okay, we're here. We're doing this. And it's just about maybe a minute maybe 30 seconds of me talking and then I show the video and then at the end and I'm saying those things like basically I'm taking my own advice that I've been teaching my classes for two two and a half years right <laughs> but see I was never in I was never my videos were on YouTube but I wasn't into YouTube if that you makes active. Sense. right and it was just a, a storage place you've heard me say that right yeah um, and now, so there's the show with David Burroughs, and then there's the, the Dave Burroughs channel that has the show with Dave Burroughs channel, or show with Dave Burroughs show on it, 
but my videos are on there, my drone videos. And, you know, maybe I'll just go down to the park and talk. And Like, you're going to see more of that kind of stuff. But in the last week, like, I've gotten, uh, I think, like, 25 new sus new subscribers in the last week, you know, yeah. which maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but it kind of is in the sense oh, yeah. of, of the growth, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, so I'm at 725 right now, right? Yeah. So... Um, my, my, and my efforts, I don't know how far you go. Like, do you go into your, your videos and do you put tags in the tag yep. section? The, the tags on, I've got the cards on, I've got the, it's on yeah. two playlists, all yeah. the best practices. Yeah. Do you put the, you, do you put, uh, bleh, I can't talk the cards at the end. Do you have it like, so that it clicks yep. up, you can click on another video, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Do you know about the location thing now? Well, no, I no, no. Tell me. So, when you go into your settings, you can tell it a location like Sarnia, or you know, um, Stonehenge, or whatever, yeah. and it, it will actually show that location on the video. Okay. Yeah. Which then allows people to click on that. So, if you put so Sarnia, if they click on Sarnia, then it will bring up other relevant videos yeah. in Sarnia. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's. Uh, and you can monetize, you know, like Facebook's starting to add some things about monetizing, but it, unless you're a game gamer on Facebook, mm. it's really hard to qualify for any monetization on Facebook. Well, you, you can, you can now monetize Facebook events. Well, there's, there is that. That's right. Yeah. But I'm just talking about based on views. Oh right? yeah. 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 There's nothing really for guys like you and me, you know, <laughs> there's like, they're, they're wanting like, I don't know, like 10,000 likes on your page. And, you know, <laughs> at least on something like Twitch or YouTube, well, YouTube's still a thousand, but something like on Twitch, for example. Um, okay. You got to get, uh, I forget what it is. How many 30 subscribers, 70 hours watched 30. Yeah. Well, to get a, or 50, you think, for affiliate? I mean, yeah, it's long time since I got it. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, though, I mean, it's on YouTube, you need a 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched per year. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about you, but getting towards 4,000 hours is not easy, right? Because... You've got to have people. I mean, if you go to YouTube, you go to analytics, you'll see that people are watching videos that you did two and three years ago. All good. Yep. But what you actually need is for a killer video, which is going to take the world by storm. You could, you've got to go viral, really. Uh, and the other thing is that you you paid uh, on YouTube. You are actually paid, but it, it's to if your video gets a hundred thousand views, then you might make a book or two. If your video gets 100 views or 200 views or 500 views, you don't get a cent. So the bar the bar is high over there. Now, if I've said anything wrong, please correct me. No, no, no. I'm just listening. No. All oh, right. Um. <laughs> so you've got to get four, you've got to get 4,000 hours. Now I am going to go to my YouTube channel and I'll just show you, and we'll, we'll take it as an example. I'm, yeah, I'm, on mine right. I'm on mine right now too so i can all right follow along. have you ever made a cent from video monetization on youtube no i um when i first started my show i put it all on youtube and was just sharing the link and i had good views going um, and then I just switched to Facebook because I heard the monetization might be coming and that was years ago. And I just, but I built a community there, right. On my Facebook. So I did earn, I like, I had crude some, uh, but it's sitting there cause you got to earn so much or whatever. But, um, yeah. I mean, I'm of the belief that you can like, that's, mm. you can make money off YouTube through AdSense, but again, it's a volume thing and they don't pay out on AdSense until you've reached $60. And uh, I'm still saving up. 
So I've got my head sensor count in the background, but it's, it's not going to really pay for anything. Okay, so let's go. Is it ready yet? It's not ready yet. Still cooking. Uh, right, so I'm going to share my YouTube account in a minute. Um, unless you want to share yours. I'm, I'm, so my, I'm, yeah, I'm sure, I can, I'll share mine. Okay. Uh, let's go find it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hide and put your picture in picture. Sure. So here, uh, now this is just in the last 28 days. I've gotten about 4,900 views. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, and you were saying you got to have so many. Uh, well, the, oh, the, the thing is, is uh, the watch time. Yeah, so I've got 453 hours all right just in the last 28 days okay so and you're saying you need how many you need you need four thousand a year if if you on the top right hand corner underneath advanced mode there's a drop so down. okay okay just before i do that so if i stay on that path of 453 hours that's per month so in 10 months if i did that then i'm i hit my four okay right yeah, but if you do the if you do the drop down, oh right, okay, over to yeah. you. So go. So I'm on the. So what did you want me to look at here? I've never looked at this part of it yet. Okay, just just click on the watch time column, second column, where it says four fifty three point five. Right here. Okay. Yeah, and that will sort it into order. And from there, you can see which videos are actually getting the time, yeah, and how much. Oh, more. right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's that's the key. You want a lot of videos getting a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and content certainly has something to do with it. Like, if you look at my Doug Ford videos here, like September fourteenth, like um, th that's the watch time. But then if you look at the views, like, I, I mean, I can show you, you know, a few hundred here, right? But I can also show you some Doug Ford videos that got like 53 views because yeah. it was it was a uh, it wasn't relative to Sarnia or it was just another repeat. Like, but when uh, when he talks about the teachers and we we're going back to school, the first time he talked about that, everybody was watching. So it, you know, it has a lot to do with that um, content yeah. for sure. By having those videos playing on your YouTube account, it's counting towards your hours if you go yeah. if you go back you actually close that tap that top right hand corner just close it top further up that's it now you can you see uh advanced mode underneath yeah. that is a drop down it says last 28 days no that one yeah okay last three six five so i'm, okay. I'm already over so you're over on that. So you just need to get this elusive thousand subscribers, and you can actually monetize the channel. Yeah, well, I realize that. That's what I'm. That's yeah. that's why my goal is to get to a thousand. But but I mean, you're saying like it's doable. Is what I'm saying, right? Like it's. Yeah, but it's it's, yeah, yeah, but that's a combination of your content and other people's content. Yeah. If you see what I'm saying. It's all good, all good. I mean, you are. What do you mean other? What do you mean other people's content? City of Sarnia. It is. I'm not. I'm. I'm confused. I'm not showing. I'm not sharing anything from the city of Sarnia on my YouTube. I don't know what you mean by that. Sorry, I can you go back to advanced mode again? Because if I'm talking wrong, I'll, I'll put my hand up. Okay, yeah. the shows on there are, so those are all shows that you're actually in. Yeah, like I, did I broadcast? Yeah, like I, Bingo Night, the Premier of Ontario, I broadcast right from, like I simulcast, right? Yeah, but it's, it, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, all right, it's, it's, 
by by doing that content i'm going to come back here by actually showing content created by other people that's helping you get to your goal if right if the only thing that appeared on your youtube channel was the show with david burrows right content actually created by you including you in the show right yeah you see where i'm going no okay no <laughs> right sorry the <laughs> the shows that you show me there are broadcast on your channel yeah but you're relaying them then not... the only one the only one i'm relaying is the premier of ontario everything else is what i've created okay right fair enough okay but yeah all good okay like i yep. si i'm simulcasting the premier right yes yeah 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 and your channel is benefiting from the views of that show absolutely that yeah. for sure but that's the only thing that's the only thing everything else on that channel is is uh, like the city okay. there's no city of sarnia on like everything else is i create it right yeah. yeah okay that's good that's good you just need the thousand subscribers i'm already subscribed so i can't help you but if there's anybody <laughs> watching uh and you're not subscribed to debbie's channel then uh please do and let's go back to the comments Your tags are funnels, correct? The SEO tags are very important because a lot of the, the traffic comes from search engines. Uh, right. And that's the YouTube search engine and the uh, Google search engine. If you don't tell them what you're actually doing, yeah, because they're not going to read the text that you put with the video, they'll read the title and look at the tags. That's it. They don't actually do anything else other than that when they're actually building their indexes. So, it's important that every video actually have tags on it right yeah okay well i'll be curious to see what the uh the premier has to say today as mm -hmm. far as uh you know what they're seeing out there i'm, I'm guessing they've probably very quickly gotten some feedback over the weekend from municipalities and whatnot so i'll be curious to see what's happening there yeah. and that show goes out in 10 minutes yes yes right and uh i i, I know i'm going to jump out a little bit earlier than normal but i do got something else quick i got to do before i get to that so um okay over to you i oh, know you, you can i what sorry i'm i'm under direction here Oh, no, I was just going to say, I know you can handle it because you're a pro, so you can handle it without me. Um, but uh, for those of you who are watching, thanks for watching. If you really liked it, give us a 10 or a 9. No, nah, give us a 10 <laughs> in the comments below. And then uh, if you didn't like us, give us another chance to come back next week. We should be here. <laughs> thanks, Stephen, as always. Okay, cheers, David. Take care. All right, cheers. See you soon. And the show is mine. Um, okay, now, one of my dreams has been to to be a DJ again and uh, to actually play music on the radio. And it just so happens that Fonz, Nigel, and I have got a new radio station called United World Radio. You've probably seen it on my timeline. Um, and I have a music show which is going out at 4 p.m. Eastern today on United World Radio. I'll put the link in afterwards. Um, and you can actually listen to the music that I enjoy. And it's come direct from my collection. And I want to show you how I did it. And this is an invitation. If you have MP3s on your hard drive, then you have the ability to put together a music show. If you can put together your own music show from the music you own, we can then play it on the radio. So how do you do that is the question. How can you put together your own 30-minute radio show? Okay, so here is a quick introduction as uh, we count a 10 from Asli. Thank you very much. So I'm going to share screen again. 
and um, hopefully this will work. I'm going to go out to a Chrome tab. And I'm going to bring this in. Uh, now this is a program. Basically, I'm going to bring it up on screen, and I'm going to take myself off solo, and I'm going to go picture in picture, and that way around. This is exactly how I created a, the 30 minute music show, which will go out tonight. And it's so simple, it's not true. Okay, I'm going to switch back so, you, so I shrink. Okay, so I'm shrunk. Okay, this is a program called Soundtrap, Sound T R A P. And Soundtrap's reason for being is to put together audio music it's used by artists all around the world uh, to record their music if you can see it's multi-track and basically if i you can't see my cursor so i'm gonna have to describe this to you the top red bar is the introduction and i can actually play that to you now Right, so name that tune is my. Do you want to bit, hear a bit more of it? If I play a bit more of it, can you name that tune? Okay, so that's the intro. Then if we go on to here, you've got me, and I'm just going to move. This is basically the sections that I do between each video. Living in the past, part of my youth, as it were. And now somebody who's had a very long career and is still going. There you are. So what I do is I upload the MP3s. Each is a separate track. I put in between each track my DJing, as it, good as it is. And then after that, I can export the whole 30 minutes mixture of music and me as a podcast. Now, it just so happens I've got some tickets for uh, Soundtrap to try it for two months for free. I'll post a link here afterwards. If you want to try being your own music producer and put together a 30 minute podcast from the music that you love with uh, bits by yourself, then you can do it and you can do it free for two months and you can send us the MP3 and we will play it on the radio. So that is as simple as it gets. And the offer is open to everybody. And Kelly's given us a 10 as well. The offer is open to everybody. I'll post the link afterwards, which gives you a two month free trial. And your, well, your objective is to create your own 30 minute music show from your own music tracks. Now, it can be anything you like. Um, all you need is a microphone and you can basically bring in the tracks. Each of those lines represents a separate track. And as you can see, the show at 4 p.m. will have Creedence Clearwater Revival, Jethro Tull, Madonna, Simon and Garfunkel, The Police, Def Leppard, Paul McCartney, Joan Jett, and Jean-Michel Jarre. So quite an eclectic mix of music there. But you can actually put your own music together using Soundtrap and uh, then send the mp3 to Fonz or myself and we will play it on the radio for you so we're licensed to do this we're licensed by toronto cast and we can play music and it can play globally and this is our open offer um you could send us a podcast at least two of them if you do one a month for the next two months then you can send us uh two music casts as it were uh, of your own selection of music with your own uh, narration against the music. And I just recommend it. It's very cathartic, uh, actually putting it together, sorting through your music, which is on your hard drive, and then you just drag and drop the music, set the length, and you can fade in and fade out. You could do all, all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, it is a good hobby to have. And for two months, it would be absolutely free. And you could be on the radio. You could be on United World Radio, uh, which is the radio station that Fonz, I and Nigel run. And uh, we'd welcome you there and we publicize 
the show you get your own show and your audio will be played twice a week um so there you are that's the offer tick up music tick up music production put together your own show it's so simple and straightforward to do and you'll be on the radio as well okay so i'm going to stop sharing and come back to me uh right okay uh final thing i just want to say thank you to two people really uh well thank you to everybody who's watching but i want to say thank you to uh chris de boven and to carl now chris and carl live in belgium and we're talking about youtube a moment ago uh i interviewed both chris and carl uh within the last four or five weeks and they have been promoting the recordings on youtube and a lot of belgian people have been coming to watch the videos so i'd just like to say thank you for them to them for actually uh promoting the show after it's been done does not happen often there's a line drawn and people forget it but they're telling their friends about it and i'm ever so grateful that they're actually doing that now a new show on wednesday um which is made up of other people's shows. Uh, we asked, I asked in the Belivers group yesterday who broadcasts on YouTube. And uh, I did a poll. You know, when you do a poll, you think, I get two or three answers. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, so far on the poll, over 200 people have voted, which is amazing feedback. And of, of those, 160 have got YouTube channels which is totally amazing and blue we just wanted to know how many people are on youtube uh, and it would appear a lot of people are on youtube so starting on wednesday i've got a new show which will be showcasing the shows made by the people who actually answer the questions in the poll uh, i'll be playing six videos so it's a chance to see video from around the world to see how other people do it and to learn from it so it's 30 minute show it will go out at 10 a.m eastern on wednesday and uh you're more than welcome to join me new idea i asked can i use your videos and 25 people said yes so i've got six videos i'm playing each week which means we've got enough content for the next four weeks and of course i'll then ask the question again and we'll have content for another four weeks so it will go on so we've got a chance to actually watch and learn from uh, people who are actually using BeLive on YouTube uh, successfully. And it's going to be an interesting show because what I'm going to try and do, they don't know this yet, you're the first to learn it, is I'm going to bring those people on for a short interview so that uh, they can actually talk about how they make videos and tell you their stories. Uh, so it promises to be an exciting new show. And I'm always on the lookout for something new. Um, so to everybody who's watched today, I'm grateful that you've been here, grateful that David was here as well. And I look forward to seeing you uh, during this week, busy week this week. And obviously uh, to see you at 12 p.m. Eastern next Monday when myself and Dave will be back. Thank you for taking the time and look forward to seeing you again soon. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him, although him is actually relaying uh, a show at the moment so run a countdown and thank you for the tens earlier i'm going to say goodbye i'm going to press the button i need to do more production things according to david so i'm going to press the button i'm going to stop the stream